Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N R. Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our geometry skills. Today is our day number 18. The problem is already on the blackboard. What is missing actually is the picture which I left out. So here we go. We have a square. P Q R S is a square. So let's draw a square here. P Q R S is a square. What else do we have? Apparently we have a circle with the radius of R S. R to S is a radius. So circle that looks something like this. We are told that we are told that point R S is the diameter of the circle with the center O. There is the center O. And what you have to understand is that if R to S is, is the diameter, then by definition, if you're going to draw a diameter, whenever you draw a diameter inside the circle, by definition, you're cutting the circle in two halves. So this is half the circle, this is the other half of the circle. They do not have to say that. You have to understand that. that this, this is the half of the circle, this is the other half of the circle, because we just cut it to do, because we just drew a diameter across it, going through the center. So one more time, RS is the diameter of the circle with the center O right there. PQR, PQRS is the square, as I already told you. The question simply is, in terms of X, how much is the shaded region? And the shaded region that they're asking for is this right here. There we go. This is the shaded region that we're asking for. What I want you to do now, what I want you to do now is to pause the video, solve the problem yourself, and when you have the answer, when you have the answer, you can resume the video. I'll give you a couple of seconds to pause and unpause before I actually solve the problem. So we have not, I have not, in terms of x, sorry, r to o is the x, there we go, sorry about that. r to x is the o, pause the video at this point, solve the problem and then continue in 5 seconds. Well not 5 seconds but when you're done. Very good. The answer that you should have gotten should look something like this. Well, not something like this, exactly like this, because this is the answer that is given to us. x squared times, in the parentheses, 4 minus pi over 2. If the answer that you arrived at does not look anything like this, I want you to pause the video one more time and solve the problem again. Do not watch the solution and uh, try solving it yourself first. You're going to get more out of it that way. You're going, to you're, going to you're going to understand more and you will learn more even if you have a little bit trouble. Now that you know what the correct answer is, solve it again if you did not get the same answer. I'll give you again the chance for five seconds to pause and unpause the video. Very good. So the very first thing we need to, very, very first thing we need to figure out is the area of the square. Area of the square, area of the square would have to equal PQ one side squared. We know that R to S is X and o, R to O is X and O to S must also be X because that's, that represents the radius. We are told there R S is the diameter. If R to S is the diameter, and O is the center, and we were told that R to O was X, then O to S must also be X. In other words, the diameter of this thing is 2 times X. The diameter of, this, of, of, the, of, this, of the circle is 2 times X. Diameter of the circle is 2 times X. Therefore, and for those of you who do not know this still, this symbol means Therefore, two dots with one dot on the top means therefore. Therefore, the area of the square is 2x 
of times 2x. This side times that side, 2x times 2, 2x, which gives us 2 times 2 is 4, x times x is x squared, x squared, there you go. That's where your 4x squared is coming from. Now you have to figure out the area of the circle and take away half the area of the circle from the area of the square. So what's the area of the circle? Area of the circle is pi r squared and how much is r, the radius? Don't confuse this r that I put there with that r, it has nothing to do with it. I always have a nasty habit of writing capital R for radius even though the convention dictates that I put a small r. I just use the word convention. The way I said it is that even though the convention dictates that I put a small r, what does the word convention mean? Let me di allow me to digress for a second. Convention, what does it mean? Convention has two meanings. One meaning is the gathering, meeting, powwow. What's the second meaning of the word convention? Second meaning of the word convention is a tradition. Even though the tradition dictates that I put a small r for radius, like I just did. I have a nasty habit of always putting the capital R, which is fine in the ordinary case, but here I didn't want to put capital R because I don't want you to confuse this R with that R. It has absolutely nothing to do with each other. This represents the radius, which we know is x. Radius is x, so it's pi x squared. We have to take away half of this thing, half of the circle, take away half the circle. This is the area of the square, take away half the circle and we're going to have left with the shaded region. So the area of the shaded region equals area of the square minus area of half the circle. Well, we, we just found out that the area of the circle is pi x squared pi x squared. Therefore area of the square which we found out to be 4x squared minus area of the half the circle or half the circle. Circle is this one right here. We take a half of it. So we have pi x squared over 2. Pi x squared over 2. And that's your answer right there. Now we have to do something with it until it looks like what I told you before. So I'm going to do it here. 4x squared minus pi x squared over 2. Do you find anything common between these two, these two, these two quantities, 4x squared and pi x squared over 2? Well, x squared is common. Let's take out x squared common. If we take out x squared common, what are we left with in this part? If we take out x squared, we're left with 4. Here, if we take out the x squared, what we're left with is pi over 2. Pi over 2. Voila. There is your answer. That's what we're looking for. 4x squared minus half the area of the circle, which is x, pi x squared over 2. That's it. We're done. That was the answer. I will see you tomorrow on day number 19. Let's see what kind of problems do we have on day number 19. This was a little bit nasty one. Ah, next one is also not, not too straightforward. As I told you before, in the beginning of the thing, if you watch my videos from start, here's what's happening. On the first 10 days, day 1 through 10, I just covered the basic concepts of geometry. Starting with day number 11, I started solving problem. And as I explained on day 11, that in the beginning, the problems are very simple and they're going to get a little bit more complicated. Tomorrow is day number 20. As you can see, they're getting more and more, we are, we're dealing with the concept of area of circle and circumference and so forth. But the problem started getting more and more and more complicated starting from uh, day 11 through today, uh, day number 20 actually, tomorrow. But tomorrow is day 19 and then to a day 20. And day 20 would be the last day of the circumference and the square concept. And then on day number 21, I'm going to start solving the problem dealing with the concept of rectangles and squares. And again, they will become very easy and they will, will build up from there. You get the idea. I will see you tomorrow on day number 19. In the meantime, if you wish to get hold of me, for personal private tutoring over the internet via Skype or in person, go to any of these website addresses that you see there and send me an email. 
or you can go to kashwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. Alright? Thanks.